Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, the Senior and Founding Pastor of Christ's Heartbeat Ministries International, which is a missions and evangelism-focused itinerant ministry based in Benoni, South Africa. From myself and from the rest of the ministry, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to our daily devotional video series, From Heaven at Seven Family. Today's episode is a very significant episode because it is episode one of our second season of From Heaven at Seven. We're very excited to be starting up the series again, and we're very excited to see Seeing what the Lord is going to do and accomplish in and through and forth from heaven at seven over the course of the next year. If you haven't seen from heaven at seven season one yet, I'd like to encourage you to go and check it out. You can see episodes one right through to 366 on our Facebook page, as well as our YouTube channel. And I'd like to ask you to please stick around over the course of 2022 for season two of from heaven at seven, as we are going to be running season two every Monday to Sunday. In other words, every day of the week, every day of the year throughout 2022 and we'd like to see you and we look forward to seeing you as this series progresses and goes forward as we continue to systematically work through the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs. Family, today is the 1st of January 2022 which means it's a significant day because today is New Year. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish you and your family a happy New Year. If you have not yet seen the official Christ's Heartbeat Ministries International New Year's message, I'd like to encourage you to go and check it out. You can find it on all of our social media accounts And with that said, today's portion of scripture that we're going to be reading from is an extract from that message because I believe that this portion of scripture is so true, so relevant, and so specific to it being a new year. And that portion of scripture is comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 19 from the English Standard Version, and it reads as follows. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so relevant to it being a new year? What is the Lord saying there? Behold, I am about to do a new thing. The Lord is going to do a new thing in 2022, family. Watch, watch and see what the Lord is going to do. It's ready. He's already starting it. What does it say there? It says, now it springs forth. Now imagine a spring when you press it in and compress it. It's under a lot of pressure and it's ready to release whatever is pushing it back. And that is how ready the Lord is to do a new thing. That it's like a spring pressed back and it's about to spring forth. It's about to come forth. The Lord is about to do this great and new and mighty thing in the year ahead, family. And what does it say there? It says, do you not perceive it? Now that is an important part as well. The Lord is going to do a new thing. But if we do not perceive it, if we do not understand it, we we risk missing it all together, family. So it is imperative that we perceive whatever it is that the Lord is busy doing and whatever it is that the Lord is going to do. How do we do this, family? How do we get to a place where we are able to perceive what the Lord is going to do? We need to get to a place of intimacy with the Lord, a place where the Lord can speak to us, a place where the Lord can reveal things to us and show things to us, because that is the way that he will reveal these things to us in advance so that we can perceive what he's about to do, so that we can perceive what he's doing while he while he's doing it and so that he can also lead us and guide us and help us to navigate through whatever it is that he is about to do in our lives family this is an important key thing that we need to get quiet get intimate get into the presence of the lord get before the lord on our knees each and every day in this year so that he can lead us and guide us especially as the year begins so that he can give us vision wisdom direction and guidance for the year that lies ahead the scripture goes on to say I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, once again, isn't that so true? What does it feel like we're in at the moment with everything that's been going on with COVID-19 and lockdown and all these kinds of things? It feels like we're in a wilderness, in a dry place where we don't know what to go, where all we see around us is just more and more and more desert. It can be very overwhelming, family. But what is the Lord saying in this portion of scripture? He is saying he is going to make a way in the wilderness, a way for us to get through the wilderness. And how do we find that way? Once again, being in that close, intimate, personal, private space with the Lord where he's able to minister to us and guide us so that he can show us the way that he's made through the wilderness and that he can guide us through it, family. And lastly, it says there also rivers in the desert. Now, that's an important part as well, because what is rivers in the desert? A desert is a dry place, but the Lord is saying that he's going to bring forth rivers of living water in this desert, in this dry place, in this wilderness, where we're finding ourselves at the moment. The Lord is going to bring forth these rivers, family, but we will not be able to get to that river if we do not allow the Lord to guide us. So that is the key 
to the year ahead, to perceiving what the Lord is going to do, to making it through the wilderness and to be part of what the Lord is doing in these times, family. The key is that being intimate with the Lord, getting into our private, quiet space with the Lord so that he can lead us, guide us, and equip us for everything that he has in this year, so that he can help us to circumnavigate through the challenging times that we find ourselves in, so that he can bring us out that wilderness into the promised land, family, and so that we can live the blessed and abundant life that he wants us to live. But it all boils down to our relationship with the Lord and having an in, that, that intimacy with him where he's able to speak to us. So I want to encourage you, family, on this day and every day going forward throughout the year, do not neglect your prayer time. Do not neglect your quiet time with the Lord. And don't just go to the Lord with a list of prayers and things that you want. That That's just, you know, giving him your list. If you want him to be able to speak to you, you need to get quiet because he speaks in a still small voice and if you don't get still if you don't get quiet you're going to miss it all together so i want to encourage you to do just that thank you family i trust that this message has blessed you and encouraged you before i end i'd just like to close in prayer Father God, we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this new year, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the scripture, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the new thing that you are going to do in this year. We thank you, Lord, that you are ready to do it, that it is already springing forth, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for each and every single person listening, myself included, Lord, that you will help us to get quiet before you, to get intimate with you, Lord, to grow in our relationship with you, Lord, so that we can be able to perceive what you are going to do, what you are busy doing, Lord, so that you can lead us onto the path that you are making through the wilderness, Lord, so that you can lead us along the rivers that you have in the desert, Lord, so that we can navigate through these difficult times, Lord, and so that we don't just survive, but thrive, Lord, because that's the life that you want us to live. And we thank you, Lord, and we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in our lives, through our lives, and for our lives over the course of the year that lies ahead. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description description of this video that says given. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.